Tuba trip to Cain. Got it in my pocket. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm going to miss him. A scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Can you stop that thing? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. Jeez, won't this rain ever let up? I won't be coming here on vacation. That's for goddamn sure. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Better have a look with Ari. You never know. I don't trust this guy. Blood. Now why is there blood here? on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't barely be able to talk, will ya, Jack? What crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man? No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. 
and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I'll get started right away, so I'll be ready when she finishes her shower. The old days. Looks like someone else's life to me now. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. It's strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. <sighs> Poor Manfred. We'd just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. Egg should be ready by now.
I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait! If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. The only guy whose name is on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, in pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Shepherd's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy. The dead don't mind.
find it! These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. <laughs> 